Right, this is This Week at Man United. Hashtag Chwaman, your place to come for all social media news surrounding Manchester United. Uh, we're in quite a decent position, aren't we, at the minute? <laughs> it's up, down, up, down, up, down. That is what it's going to be like all season for Man United. And this weekend was very much an up, I thought. 3-1 against Brighton. We did, of course, do well with the win against Partizan in the week as well. Six goals at Old Trafford. What is going on? What is going on? Um, but really happy to see all the strikers in great form. And I thought the Brighton game in particular, we looked really good. Happy days. Um, some of us aren't happy though, are we? Uh, Anthony Martial being one of those who maybe isn't too happy at the minute. Did you see the way that he was talking to Andreas at the end of the Partizan game? I love this. It really does look like he's had, like, having an argument with him, doesn't it, at the end of the game? Like, why didn't you square it through to me? What are you playing at? In fact, the best guess of what they were actually saying comes from at Sebi underscore LO. <laughs> this has really made me laugh, this. How many times have I told you? One sec, one sec, let me talk to my cheese then. No, I say nothing, cheese. Pussy, old girl. I've told you better times, man. Pattern up. Pattern up, man. Lots more memes coming from the weekend as well, quite like this video. Aaron Wambasaka tracking back any winger in the Prem. <laughs> It's true, it's true. The spider is beast and we love him. Do you think these 14 year old lads are sat at home playing FIFA, they've signed a good player and all of a sudden they think they're a fucking top class scout. It's not how it works, now it works. For reference, right, I bought Ziek, Ziech, whatever his name is. I bought him on Football Manager a couple of years ago and we won the Champions League. Did you see me sending emails to Man United telling them to sign him? No, because I'm a grown man. <laughs> sort of, sort of. Also, can you imagine if that was Man United's transfer policy? <laughs> like any old randomer who emails us, we actually take it into consideration. Firstly, how much time do you think our scouts have? And secondly, how much time do you have on your hands? Like, I can't see any real person actually write into Man United, but you know, Maybe if we all message them now, say it, telling them to sign Ronaldo, it'll actually happen. Where is that picture from? Right, it's okay. <sighs> oh, I don't know how to say it, guys, but I feel like if we all just accept that Liverpool are going to win the Premier League now, then we'll all feel better about it in May. It had to happen eventually. Uh, they got the win against City. Looks like nine points. Maybe they probably won't let that one slip. Look, anything can happen in football, but nine points is a lot, in it? So, fair play. The first team to ever win the league in November. I did tell you what I did think, though, over the weekend, right? Because it doesn't even look like City might be the main contenders against Liverpool now. It could be Leicester. Like, can you imagine that? If this season, the best Man United fans could have hoped for was City winning the Premier League. Because just because we didn't want Liverpool to do it. Can you imagine if neither City or... I'm going to sneeze. It's gone. I hate it when that happens. I hate it when that happens. Can you imagine if neither of them do it? Honestly, if Leicester win the league this season, it is going to be an absolute non-stop party around my gaff. Honestly, non-stop Kasabian. I'm loaning myself to Leicester as a Leicester fan in May if they're up there. Just please, please, Leicester. Because it will stop City winning three league titles in a row and it will stop Liverpool just winning a league title, which we all know is a sign of the apocalypse. But uh, one man who obviously didn't take it very well, Pep Guardiola. <laughs> this is a brilliant video, this, of him on the touchline. Screaming at the referee two times, twice, he's saying. And the best bit is at the end here, where he screams it to the sky. <laughs> twice! <laughs> it's like a cartoon character or something. What the frig is going on? <laughs> It was Armistice Day on Monday as well, of course, across the weekend uh, as well, where we pay tribute to all the heroes who gave their life for our freedoms. Uh, everyone paying tribute in the footballing world as well. We saw lots of minute silences. And we also saw this. I, I just can't get my head around this. Like, how is that paying respect? It's a fucking poppy suit. It's awful, isn't it? It's awful. It's embarrassing. 
What else did we find out this week? Oh yeah, Dan James is well fast. I mean, we already knew this, but uh, this is a brilliant run from him and he was brilliant throughout the game as well against Brighton. So uh, very, very happy with Dan James so far. He just looks like he loves it as well. I love this quote as well from him recently. I know that anyone could have said this, but apparently when his agent told him that Man United were interested, he said he didn't want to hear from any more clubs. I just want to go Man United. Yes, Dan. And that is exactly the sort of player we want. Look at how well he's played. Bring in the players that want to be here. They all get us back to the top, guaranteed. Guaranteed, mate. It's a, it's a gas guarantee. Oh, yeah, and it was uh, the biggest fight in existence ever, wasn't it, over the weekend, <laughs> if you were a 14-year-old. Uh, <laughs> so, KSI versus Logan Paul. Uh, this is a big thing in the YouTube world. I should probably shut my mouth, because I can't fight, and I don't want anyone to offer me out for a fight, and I'm not going to do a celebrity boxing match, because... No, no, I've got a bit too much respect for myself, really. But honestly, what is going on here? Um, we've got actual YouTubers having celebrity boxing fights and somehow they're being built as these big, massive, super huge events. Now, celebrity boxing fights aren't a new thing. They have been happening for years and years and years. But it's only until recently when YouTubers who are, let's face it, with expert gobshites, it's only since they've been uh, lumped into it that it's really started taking off because we've now reached a point in a sport like boxing where to the vast majority of casual fans of boxing, which is the vast majority of boxing fans, they'd rather see the shit talking than the actual sport. That's more entertaining to them than the actual fight because they're not boxers, are they? <laughs> they're not. I, I'm sure they both beat me up, but they're not fighters. KSI, he was saying that he wants to fight professional boxers. Oh, now that's something I'd pay to see. That is something I'd pay to see. Fucking hell. But it did get me thinking, actually. Are there any footballers you'd like to see in a celebrity boxing match? Because we could make this happen, couldn't we? We could get two, two footballers in the ring, take them to Salford Lads Club. They've got a boxing ring there. And have a proper scrap. I'd love to see it. Who would you love to see? I'd like to see, like, big City players coming up against big United players, like Mika Richards versus Nemanja Vidic, or Steven Gerrard versus Wayne Rooney. Or Wayne Rooney versus Phil Bard. Oh! Oh no, actually, probably not that one. Okay, that has been this week at Man United. We'll catch you next week where we review all the crazy, ridiculous things that happen on social media surrounding our beloved Manchester United. My name's Gaz Drinkwater. This is Full Time Devils. We'll see you next time. Latest in a bit. <laughs>